I'm going to do some examples for the rank nullity theorem. So our first example has a matrix A, and we're asked to find the dimension of the image of A and the dimension of the kernel of it. So um, we could just find the image and the kernel and then look at their dimension, but um, instead of that, we're going to use some theorem. So what we're going to do first is we're going to reduce, we're going to find the dimension of the image. Uh, we're going to do that by putting this matrix in reduced spiral echelon form. So I'm going to do this pretty quickly. I'm going to take row 1 divide, divided by 2. I'm going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 1, 3, 6, 8, 8, 14. Then I'm going to take R2, subtract 2 of R1. Then I'm going to take R3 and subtract 6 of R1. Then I'm going to take R2 divided by 2. Or divided by negative 2. Then I'm going to take R1 and subtract 2 of R2. Then I'm going to take R3 and add 4 of R2. So now we have an reduced row echelon form, and since there are two leading ones, the rank of A equals um, 2, is the rank of the reduced row echelon form of A. Also equals 2. And um, since the rank of A equals the dimension of the image of A, the dimension of the image of A is 2. Now for part B, told to find the image of the kernel, or dimension of the uh, dimension of the kernel. And so for this we can use the rank melody theorem. So this tells us that the dimension of the kernel, so the nullity of A plus the rank of A, which also happens to be the dimension of the image, um, equals the dimension, the domain space of the matrix. Since we have a um, 3 by 4 matrix, um, the domain is um, domain space is R4, and that means that the dimension of the domain space is 4. And we already found the dimension of the image to be 2. So the dimension of the kernel of A is also 2. For our second example, we have a more of a theoretical question. Can you find a 3x3 three three matrix A for which the dimension of the kernel of A equals the dimension of the image of A? But to answer this question, um, you gotta think about what 
theorem relates these two things, and that is the rank nullity theorem. So that tells us that the dimension of the kernel, so the nullity plus the dimension of the image, the rank, has to equal the dimension of your domain space. Since we have a 3x3 three three matrix, that dimension is going to be 3. So, um, if the dimension of the kernel equaled the dimension of the image, we could just write the dimension of the kernel of A plus the dimension of the kernel of A, substituting the kernel for the uh, dimension of the kernel for the dimension of the image, because they are equal. And this gives us two times the dimension of the kernel equals three. And solving for the dimension of the kernel, we get three halves. And since dimensions have to be integer or whole numbers, um, this doesn't make any sense. You can't have three halves of a dimension. So answer is no. Or not no, the question mark, but no. Um, the dimension of the kernel and the dimension of the image can only be equal if the domain space is an even number. Because even number divided by 2 will be a whole number.